Hello, everybody. It is 3.15 on the East Coast. Welcome to the stream. My name is James Brown, voice actor, gamer, writer, artist. Today's a very interesting stream because um, I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, <laughs> it's a funny interesting story about why this is happening um, I'm essentially obliging a friend of mine who's strongly suggested I play this game it has me slightly triggered already is the fact that this <laughs> friend of mine doesn't normally uh, voice his opinions on what I should play as vim as well, it's not like I'm going to say he screamed at me to do it, but... Bro. Yeah, there's no face cam for this one. He really wanted me to play this game, and... The little hints... I, I didn't look up anything for the game, but the little hints I got... Unfortunately indicated to me that I was in for some bullshit. Okay. Uh, now, you guys know, I, I've done voiceover in some visual novels before. Never as a, like a love interest, but like a side character, and stuff like that, but... I've never been good at these games, all right? So don't expect anything special, all right? That being said, I'm trying to get my Doki Doki on. Let's see if that's a thing. Maybe that is a thing, because that, that mean it literally says Doki Doki in the title, so I only can imagine. There's four cute girls on the screen. Just romance and whatever, comedy maybe is what I'm thinking. That's what I was thinking. And then I see this on the screen, all right? And now I'm already upset. This game is not suitable for children or for those who are easily disturbed. That is me. So, god damn it. This is the first thing it tells me on the screen, which I guess is like a trigger warning. Fuck. Alright. <laughs> I'm already upset. So, um... I guess we're gonna give it a shot. Hey, what's up, Goka? Ninja Link. Who else is this? Mia Mia? How you doing, man? How's everyone doing today in the chat? This game is great. Don't worry, man. Ha, who wanted you to play this game? <laughs> uh, this a, the, the Greninja's in the chat wanted, you to play, <laughs> wanted me to play this game. That, that answers your question, uh, Mia Mia 23 half Mal. The, the people who are um, posting Greninja... Uh, I guess yeah, emotes. Anyways, um, so yeah, this is this is Doki Doki Literature Club. Let's go ahead and get this this started. <clears throat> Got my tea over here. This game is not suitable for children who or those who are easily disturbed, aka me. Okay, won't well, work with them. Okay, I'm, I got a controller here. It's not. Is it working? Let's try it again. No? Okay, maybe I'll use the, the mouse. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. Oh, God. For, children, for content warnings, please visit... Are you serious right now? Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression? Ninja Link, what have you done to me? Alright, I'm already nervous. Why would I suffer from anxiety or depression? That's 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 what got that's that's what's giving me anxiety or depression. And or depression. The things that might give me anxiety or depression, me thinking about those things. Okay. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age, and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Oh my god. <sighs> I agree. I feel like I just signed my soul to the devil. Why? why? I should use blood next time. Oh, this music sounds nice. And again, his, that trigger warning. This song, this music. All right, let me, let me 
You gotta be kidding me. Well, this, this, the character design is amazing. That hand looks a little weird, though, but whatever. Alright, so... Let me just check the settings real quick. Tech speed, music volume is probably going to be okay. Let me turn it down slightly. Uh, skip, unseen text, skip after choices. I'm not going to skip anything, so this is probably useless for me to think about it. Alright, let's go ahead and just enter my name. Alright, let's just... James. Alright. That's a cool protagonistic name, right? Alright, let's go get my harem. Get my harem on. Uh, hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance. Waving her arms in the air like she don't- like she totally don't care. Okay, uh, like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Yeah, actually I was right. Like she just don't care. Um... This is really starting off classic anime style. Is she gonna have toast in her mouth running too? That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and good friend since we were children. No, I'm not putting my smasher tag in this. I'm not going to taint it with doki dokis and literatures and clubs. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? No, I don't. Okay. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Then leave her. Leave her dumbass. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However,. I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> Whose face is this? This expression just bothers me for some reason. Is this the, is this the XD emoticon that she's doing right now? Almost. Almost. Okay, so she's... okay. I overslept again. But I caught you this time because I waited for you. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Because I waited for you. Eh, yeah, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Yes, I actually was. This is, this is very high on my considerations. <laughs> uh. She's too cliche for me right now. Way too cliche. I gotta learn how to paint like this. That's mean, James. Yeah, you know, I'm mean. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Yeah, let's just throw that out there. Let's just throw that, just toss that into the wind, see who catches it. We might be a couple or something. Let's see if expression change is something like, well, I wouldn't mind, right? Okay, fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you don't, even if you want to. Oh, oh, bitch. You don't know me at all, do you? I'm not mean to everybody, but, but when I am, when I am, there's a, there's a, there's a Dos Equis joke in there somewhere. Wherever you say, uh, Sayori, okay. Yo, know, let's, 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 <laughs> let's make this the four kids version, like, I, I can, I, I can already see that I'm gonna have, uh, problems pronouncing names over and over again. Let, let's change her name to something that four kids would do. Like, like, like a really bad 90s English dub. Like, what would her name be in English? Like, Sarah or something? I, I need a suggestion from the chat. Like, what, her, what would her name be in English? Her name would be Sammy. Okay. Sammy. That actually... Megan. <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> All right, so, okay, all right, let's go with Samantha. All right, whatever you say, Samantha. We cross the street together and make our way to school. I'm not doing that laughing voice. We're gonna go with Samantha. All right, this is the four kids dub. 
This is the four kids version of uh, of Doki Doki Literature Club. Actually, they wouldn't even call it Doki Doki Literature Club. They call it like what would they call it? Would they call it Doki Doki? They probably call it the Love Love Literature Club. Oh my god, that sounds even worse. Like I'm trying to make a rhyme that's just not working well with anybody. All right, we're crossing the street. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their early commute. By the way, James, uh, have you decided on a club to join yet? Oh, why did I not expect this question so early in the game? It's called Doki Doki Literature Club. Well, uh, is there a game club? Is there a manga club? Or I'm sorry, not manga club. Is there a uh, comic book club? Uh, anything like that? A club? <laughs> My man is. What's a club? You mean like the sandwich? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. They always say that. They always say that. And then they join a club anyway. I haven't been looking either. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, it's fucking true. Why can't... I, why don't you believe me? You told me you would join a club this year. Yes, so you would leave me alone and shut up and hang up the phone because it was 3.30 in the morning. That's why. Did, did I? Yeah, I don't remember anymore. I probably was, I don't know, drinking too much. I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Okay, so, so like, are we really friends or not? Because my character seems like she, he has n wants nothing to do with you. Let her love you. Shut up, Goka. No one deserves my love. This has been proven. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games anime. Okay. This sounds a little bit too much like me, actually. In your in Ninja Link, you're right. He literally he literally is saying the things that I want to say. <laughs> I don't have to ad lib because I, I tried it earlier. And fucking, he says the same thing right after. <laughs> this is me. This is literally me. Holy shit. Uh-huh. Okay. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Oh, there's no need to worry about it because that shit won't happen at all. Actually, it did not happen. Period. I was, I hate high school. We'll talk about it later. Oh, see, see, it's already starting depression already. Now I'm depressed about high school. Oh, great. Flashbacks. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Oh, stop. Oh, Lord, this is happening right now. Really? This can be a more blatant sign that I'm going to be trying to hit this, hit this girl up later. Okay. Just. All right, whatever. And I know you're happy now, but I'll die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Hold on. What's wrong with being tidy? I thought people liked that. Like, I literally fold my clothes like a, like a guy working at Macy's. There's nothing wrong with that. No, wait, that's not how you spell neat. What does that mean? Neat. I don't know. What, is, what does that mean? What is a neat? Because it's not the neat I was thinking of. Anyways, uh, I'll let you guys tell me. Not in education, employment, or training. Really? That's what it means? A bum. Okay. Okay. I think I've watched an anime where literally the main character was a 30-year-old neat. If that's the case. But it was fun. Alright, it was fun to watch. Some I forget what it's called. It's like, she likes to play games and stuff and her eyebrows are weird. Anyways, uh, you trust me, right? <sighs> I have no evidence to trust you. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Okay, so she clearly wants the D. My neat D. Like, I don't... Where's the evidence for this affection? 
All right, all right. I'll look for I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. Yeah, see, if it makes you happy, not if it makes me happy. You don't care about how I feel. You just care about how you want to feel, and that's not what friends are for. No promises, though. I like when someone says no promises, because it, it means they're not going to do it. Whenever someone says to you no promises, that means 70 to 80 percent, the answer is no. Just so you guys know. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Are we in high school? This girl does not seem like a high school kid. I'm just saying yay like we're going to Disney World. Like, what's up with that? This music is... This music is mad forgetful. <laughs> I know a composer by uh, name Chris Frescolante. I like his music a lot for, for the games he puts him in. He puts him in a lot of visual novel games. This music is like, it's really it's really poppy, I guess. It's like, has this, it pops at you for like a second. But I literally was not, I couldn't even hear the music in my head for like two minutes just now. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? I don't know, because I like her, apparently. That's the, that's the whole thing here. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. Uh-oh, because you like her. Because you want her. You want to hug her. Anyways, I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. That's not an exaggeration. I am this close to becoming this neat thing you guys are talking about. The school day is ordinary as ever. And no one showed up. <laughs> is it Saturday? Why are we at the school on Saturday? The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over. Okay, so it's already over. Wow, people marched out there mad quick. Locked the door and everything. See, no one cleaned the chalkboard. I thought they did that in Japanese high schools. They cleaned the chalkboard or whatever. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. What, to leave the school? Oh, I never needed motivation to leave school. Like, why you guys think my favorite character was Sonic? I bounced. I drop dash the fuck out of class as soon as the bell rang. Once I packed my bags, I stared blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Already read that. Clubs. Sayori wants to wants me to check out some clubs. Hey Ashley, what's up? I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. <laughs> I have no choice. <laughs> Let's start with the <laughs> I mean I, I I could do basketball club. Goku, get that fucking emote out of here. You just triggered me. Alright. Um, like, that would be the first club I go to. It, whatever. Hello? Oh, it's it's uh, Samantha. Oh, thanks for the host, Ashley. So she literally checked up on me. E she checked up on me immediately. The host. Not that I needed it. Alright. Ashley, thanks for the host once again. I saw it Matt early than that notification. Anyways. Uh what do you want? So, uh no, I forgot her English name again. Samantha must have come to the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. How did you not notice that? <laughs> Literally, you're in the back of the class and no one's here. Except you two. This is the part where we make out already, where we doki dokies. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You shouldn't be. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Wait. Encouragement. What kind of encouragement? This is Doki Doki alert. Is that what's about to happen? Because she's blushing. All right, all right, guys. So, new thing now, new rule. Whenever there is eminent Doki Doki's about to happen, I need someone to shout in all caps Doki Doki alert in the chat. Like when it, you know, that, that's what's about to happen. What do you mean? 
well, that you could come to my club. I don't want to go to your club. I don't even want to talk to you right now. I've been trying to know, like, how are we friends for real, though? This whole time, I've been trying to not listen to her. Why would I want to be with her after class? After the fucking class. I didn't want to be here before. Yeah. There is no way I'm going to your club. I say that. In air quotes, because I'm clearly going to be going to her club. Eh? Meanie. I told you, I'm mean as shit. I'm actually not mean. I'm actually a very nice person. Sarcastic? Yes, at times. So, uh... Samantha Vice is Vice President of the Literature Club. Of course. Of course she is. Not that I ever not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. L literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be be fun to help start a new club. You mean they didn't have this club before? So this is your fault that this game is made? Ugh. I don't like her. 0%. Since she was the first one to show her interest in the club, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed, be, guaranteed to be even less. What, am, what are you talking about, dude? What are you talking about? I'm like an avid comic book reader of Japanese comic books in literature. Remember, this is a 4Kids dub. I can't say manga. I have to say Japanese comic books while I eat donuts on the streets with no signs or no writing on the signs. Oh, I'm bad at this. Okay, I, I don't hate her, but I don't... I don't know, whatever. Comics are literature, yes. Shut up, don't lie to me. Don't lie to America, Goka. Alright, America's watching right now, all nine of them. And you're just lying to them. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please, what do you mean please? You told me to go to the club, I'm going to the club, now you don't want me to go to the club? What, are we married or something? It's a nagging wife. This is a bad sign. Do not date. Why do we... Why do you care so much anyway? Well... Oh, God. I kind of told the club yesterday I will bring in a new... <laughs> Bringing in a new member. This... This bitch. Her goal wasn't for me to join a club for my sake. To meet new people. It was so she can fulfill a fucking quota? I'm out. I'm out. O-U-T. Fuck this shit, I'm out. And Natsuki? Who's Natsuki? Made cupcakes and every- cupcakes and every- Well, hold up. God damn it. I don't know who this girl is, but... She made cupcakes. All right, hold up. All right, let's not let's not be AC here. Um, I mean, it it would be kind of messed up if I didn't show up and help them eat the cupcakes. Cause what if there's too many and there's no room to, you know, store them? And then who wants one day old cupcakes anyway? You know, I, I I'm a, I'm obliged to go for the cupcakes. All right. Since Natsuki, whoever this Natsuki guy, girl, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need an English name for her. Uh, by the way, guys, help me with Natsuki. Don't make promises you can't keep. Yeah, also that. I can't tell if Samantha is really that much of an airhead. I could, or if she's so cunning as to have it planned all out. How is this plan? No, Goka. It has to be an English name. Remember, this is four kids now. This is the four kids version, at least. In this is the four kids version. Ugh. Excuse me, I'm stretching. This is a really bad plan. She makes plans bad. Natalie? Okay. Natalie. Natalie is now her name. Natsuki's name is now Natalie. I let out a long sigh. I think I've been doing that the whole game. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? See, James gets it. This guy gets it. 
It's like we're the same person. Yes, let's go. Yes. If, oh, I swear to God, if there are only chocolate cupcakes at this fucking club, there better be a variety. Like vanilla chocolate minimum. All right? And none, none of those cupcakes where it's just a little bit of cake in like a crap fudge ton of icing. I hate those. I will dip so hard with three of those cupcakes before you could say Doki Doki Literature Club. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I sold my soul for a cupcake. Three minimum. I dejectedly followed Samantha across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year students' uh, classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. That's also sort of empty. Everyone, the new member is here. No, I did not say that. I said I wanted a cupcake. I was going to check it out. I told you, don't call me a new member. Okay, so, real talk. Like I said before, I do voiceover. So, but, but however, understand that any expression you hear from my lines right now is genuinely me being upset <laughs> at this moment in time so far. Not me going in the character, which is really hilarious to me right now. I just noticed that. Eh, I glance around the room. Okay, girl one. That's her name now. Welcome to the liter literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Samantha always says nice things about you. Does she? Does she? Okay. I almost got tripped out a little bit because she kind of looked like Samantha, but she's clearly not. Seriously, you brought a boy? So this is a girls club? An all girls club. I didn't see the sign that says no girls allowed, number one. Number two, one of your girls brought me in here. And number three, I'm only here for the cupcakes, so I'm going to take trace of those. Trace, san, whatever, of cupcake and dip out, okay? Exit stage right? Left? No, right is the windows. Left is the door. Anyways, way to kill the atmosphere. Wait, 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 wait. She's the one who killed the atmosphere. Whatever of it was there. By being a bitch. So this is bitch girl right here. This is the little short, small-breasted Sundari character, isn't it? This is, this is her. This is literally her, right? I don't know what you would say about the girl in the purple hair. I like her design the most so far. Even though they're pretty much wearing the same clothes. I don't know. Why are they perpetually blushing, blushing to you, by the way? Ah, James, what a nice surprise. Do I know you? Welcome to the club. Okay, she has green eyes. For some reason, those look really nice. I guess I like the color green. Um, okay. All words escape me in this situation. Why? This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Oh my god, have I not seen a cute girl before? As annoying as she is, uh, Samantha is technically in the cute girl category. So what the deal? Am I gonna join this club just because of this? Just cause three cute girls? Honestly, the one that looks the cutest to me is the one on the right with the purple hair. But they all look cute. But that's not gonna be enough reason for me, the James, James number one, to join a club, okay? Not about that life. What are you looking at? I'm looking at y'all. That's how you tell people you're listening to them, by looking at them when they're talking. I hate her, she's zero. She No, she's minus 5%, would not date. If you want to say something, say it. Like, is she trying to start a fight with me? Sorry, why? Don't, don't back down, James. Don't, don't back down. Not, that's Natsuki? Oh my god, that's Natsuki. Wait, what, what was the name that we gave her? 
Hold on, let me check the chat. What was the name we gave this person? Natalie. Okay. Natalie. So this is Natalie. Great. <laughs> okay. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natalie is one I don't recognize. Well, well, yeah, this is the first time you, you've met her. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. And she's talking to me like that? Bitch, know your place. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Samantha. Oh, <laughs> well, that changes things a little bit. You know, first impressions are everything. If a woman comes to you with cupcakes, she's going definitely like a mile and a half for you. Like the extra mile. Like two miles. Okay? That's the extra mile. So she's the one with the cupcakes. Let's make nice with the girl until we get the cupcakes. Then, then bounce. You're actually taller than her? She, she's a, a mini... A, just a... Just a mini girl. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. I can't ignore her yet, Samantha. She has the cupcakes. Stick with the plan. Sayori says... Samantha says that quietly into my ear. Then turns back towards the other girls. First of all... You're too close. Alright. Is this what they were talking about with trigger warnings? I don't know. Anyway, this is Natalie, always full of energy. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. And this is Judy, the smartest in the club. So she's the smartest girl in the club. She's also the cutest girl in the club. She, has, she also has the longest hair in the club. And Yuri, I can say her name. So we'll keep her as Yuri, but just for fun, I want to hear what you guys say her English name should be. If this was a four kids dub, D don't say things like that. Wait, wait, you're whatever. If I was the smartest person in school, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. I'm the smartest guy here. Jessica. Jessica should be her, should be Yuri's name. Okay, I'm, I definitely gonna need your eyes to help remember these for a little bit. So Jessica, start from the right. Is Jessica, Natalie, and Samantha. Okay. Yuri, who appears completely more mature and timid. Yasmin? Yeah, I like Yasmin. Yeah, Yasmin's a nice name. But, okay. Anyway, uh, Jessica, Jessica, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Samantha and Natalie. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know... Monica. I said we'll, we'll call her Monica. With a C instead of a K. So it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? No, who the hell's Monica? Oh. I apparently know Monica. It's great to see you again, James. Monica smiles sweetly. I was not ready for that pose. She jumped there mad quick. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we are in the same class last year. Okay. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. This is too good to be true right now. Basically, completely out of my league. Yep. Yep, like I said, guys, this reminds me of high school. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Awkward. Y you too, Monica. Uh, ha ha. Ha. Uh, come sit down, James. We've made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. Do I get to choose? I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Do I get the... Is this the decision I have to make? Hey, I made them, so I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about we make some tea as well? Why do I feel like she would be the girl that will come at you in a kimono? A kimono and bring some green tea to you. She gives off that vibe. 
where that Ocha at? The girls have a few desks arranged for, uh, to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that no, there is space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Uh, not Sayori. Samantha. I love green tea. Uh, Natalie and Jessica walk over to the corner of the room where Natalie, this is going to be a, annoying already, grabs a wrapped tray and Jessica opens the closet. Fuck. Still feeling awkward. I take a seat next to Samantha. Oh, I don't get to choose. I totally would have chosen the other person. Like, real talk. Natalie proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Well, that's a nice smile. So, so she has other expressions other than bitch. Alright, uh, ta-da! Are they that surprised? Are they that good? Natalie lifts up the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh, she went in on this. I only have one problem, though, with this with this issue here. Uh, it's... There's only 12. Like, I don't know how many they were going to have. But my... But the amount I was going to take increased considering that they look good. So maybe five? Oh, that's enough. That's enough. That's plenty. I mean, it's at least seven left. So, um... Samantha can have one, everyone else has two. There we go. I mean... <laughs> the whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Like... That's actually too much cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, that, uh, Natalie. Eh, <laughs> well, you know. No, we didn't, but... <laughs> Alright. So she's very, um... How do you say, um... Confident? Overconfident? About her cooking? Might be something to remember. Just hurry and take one. I will take three. Samantha grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Samantha talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Oh, good grief. I know nothing about this game, Catherine. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Why is she quiet? Is she watching me? Waiting for my approval? Probably. Alright, Natalie. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good! Thank you, Natalie. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Oh, stop it already. I had enough of you. Doki Doki alert. All right, enough. No, wait. It's not like I... It's not like you what? It's not like you made them for everybody? I don't get this character type at all. I don't get this character type. It's actually annoying me. Someone explain this. This is so stupid. She made it for everybody and she's acting like she didn't make it for anybody. <sighs> it's overplayed character type. Have I heard this somewhere before? Yes, probably every anime I've ever watched, ever. Made them for you or anything. Well, you... You... Did, sort of. I mean, not just for me, but... Do you... Do we understand ourselves here? Yeah, I thought you technically... <laughs> You technically did. <laughs> this guy is me. This guy is me. this guy is me. So yeah, Samantha said you made him for everybody. Well, maybe. 
but not for you know you dummy okay i don't know her we, we we're not really on comfortable terms talking right she really really is talking to me like how i talk to samantha and that's not right okay we at least know each other for a while i can talk to her like that you can't talk to me like that no f that i couldn't i wouldn't be friends with a Cinderi. i couldn't do it we'd be fighting like verbally all right all right i give up on natalie's weird logic and dismiss the conversation Jessica returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this wait, wait, a whole tea set in this classroom, really? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. You need permission to bring a tea set to a school? After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Is this all the club is about? Just reading books? Couldn't you just go to the library? Couldn't this be called the library club? The Doki Doki Library Club? I'm sure there's more to it than that. Yeah, I guess. Hey, don't let yourself get intimidated. Jessica's just trying to impress you. I am not getting intimidated. That's that is definitely uh, the wrong word for it. If you guys know what I mean, eh, that, that's not insulted. Jessica looks away. She's insulted. Okay, I meant that. You know. Okay, hold up. Are all these girls like already like somewhat attracted to me. Like, what did you tell them, Samantha? I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me. It's usually soda and uh, Doritos, Mountain Dew, and Gears of War. That's a pastime for me. But at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Jessica faintly smiles to herself in relief. Uh, Cool Ranch? Cool Ranch Doritos are the best. Monica raises an eyebrow. Why she raises an eyebrow? Then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Cupcakes. That better be an answer. If cupcakes is an answer, I'm picking that. Can I, can I, can I answer it? I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Samantha. That's exactly what I could tell her. Well, I haven't jo I can't answer. Ugh. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Samantha seems really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, Monica is president of the Literature Club. I should have known that. It's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know. No, I don't know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. There's kids and their fake politics. It feels like nothing but arguing or about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather do take something that I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Well, that's fair, I guess. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. This is your dream. Alright, well, I'm not going to down your dreams. Monica really is a great leader, I believe her. I believe you. Jessica also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised that there aren't more people in the club yet. Why aren't people up in the club, man? You're so great. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Or, an impro or improve on a design. 
No one got the reference. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Um, FYI guys, I'm probably on my fourth cupcake right now. You have to work hard to convince people, just let that sink in your heads. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the f but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. You know what? From now on I'm gonna be eating cupcakes when I speak my parts. Right everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. So they can all fit. Okay. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees while I'm eating all their fucking cupcakes. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Uh, this is weird. I just had a weird thought. These... They, the color of these hairs girls remind me of Starbursts for some reason. I don't know. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were so, all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Even with my extensive knowledge of comic book reading. So James, what kinds of things you like to read? Well, um... Yeah, Fant Fanta commercial is probably it, yeah. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Especially with, uh, cupcakes in my mouth. Japanese comic books. Mm, mm, this cupcake's really good. I quiet, I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natalie's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, you know, with a few cupcakes and um, some tea, eh, that can change. Oh my god, these, uh, these cat ears are so good. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing... Oh boy, you tell me I was con... I spoke without thinking after seeing Jessica's sad smile. Are you serious? Am I that much of a jerk of a pussy? Like, it's all it takes is a cute girl to like be upset, be sad, and I just melt over? Are you serious right now? I am not. Joining this club. Anyway... Hold on, I'm actually gonna eat something while I'm, while I'm reading. It, it makes it more genuine, guys. I swear. So I have some Samoas here. Pretend those are cupcakes. Alright, here we go. Alright, anyway. <laughs> oh, shit. That's hilarious. Anyway. What about you, uh... Jessica? Oh my god, you're good. Okay. Well, let's see. Jessica traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Okay. My favorites are usually novels that build deep in complex fa fantasy worlds. Hmm. Ah. This tea's pretty good. That's so. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Jessica goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. And I'm, cl I'm clearly, like, giving her the utmost attention right now. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. her mind is trapped in a world of fantasy right now worlds are her escape books are her books are her escape clearly okay but you know I like a lot of things <clears throat> I realized I just realized her wrists are super small like what the hell I know those weird things guys 
Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Psychological elements, huh? Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so, can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Hold up, guys. Gotta get back into character. Oh, yeah. Horror books, huh? Yeah. I've read a book about, um, scary stuff before. Yeah. It was pretty scary. Hold on a second. I'm gonna drink some tea. Hold up. Ah, that is good stuff. Yeah. Imagine me drinking the tea like a like a beer in, in the anime. Okay. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Jessica might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Jessica. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Wow, rude! Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natalie's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natalie? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give Me That Back. Fine, fine. Oh, it's Samantha, okay. <laughs> Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is as cute as you are. Isn't that so nice? Oh, wait, hold up. Samantha slides up behind Natalie and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Well, actually, you kind of are, but... What is this? Natalie, you write your... Okay, Natalie, you write your own poems? Aw, oh. Damn it, I'm so sorry, guys. Back to character. Natalie! You write your own poems? Ah! I'm still chewing the same cupcake. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Bitch, you are the cupcake girl. I care about what you do at this moment in time while I still chew on your cupcakes. I think that's impressive. Like your cupcakes. Don't know why I constantly bring it up. That's weird. That's not weird. It's not weird at all. Well, who said that? Why don't you share them sometime? Along with some cupcakes. Oh, God, who said that? Who's saying that? Someone around here just... Whatever. Anyway. N no. Okay, Natsuki averts her eyes. I said Natsuki. I did not mean that. I meant Natalie. You wouldn't like them. Uh-huh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Na uh, Natalie feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to the readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. That's deep as shit. Do you have writing experience too? Uh, fuck, Jessica, right? Yeah. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natalie feel comfortable enough to share hers. That's a great idea, class president or whatever your name is. 
Oh, great. Now she doesn't want to do it. I guess it's the same for Jessica, yeah. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Let's hear it. Natalie and Jessica look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah, this is a bad idea. I'm just gonna give you some Dr. Seuss shit. We're really gonna look up one fish, two fish. Should just call her Yasmin for less confusion. Oh, for uh, Yuri, Yuri instead of... Uh, although it's more true, they probably would name her Jessica. Maybe Yasmin would be the right answer. Oh, actually, Yuri isn't that bad. Right? Because they still call it Yugi Yugi. And Kaiba Kaiba. So some characters can still be called their Japanese names, right? Yuri is easy to pronounce. Because literally it's like they change names because they feel like kids are too stupid in America to pronounce Japanese names. So the simple one, probably. We'll keep her as Yuri. I'm not going to call her Yugi. You and your stupid suggestions. Although this is the same... This is the same production company that called a, uh... What do they, what do they call those things? An onigiri a donut. Because that made effing sense. Anywho... Plus, now that if we have a new member, I think... Oh, this, this again. Just because I ate all your cupcakes does not mean I consent to this. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, James? Fuck! Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on! There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Samantha may have, conf may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. Are they all really looking at me like this right now? All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. James, wait... Well, no, 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 you do not... You all... Hold up. I am defenseless against these girls. Are you serious? How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend it every day with these beautiful girls, is that really why... See, this is, this is why this isn't going to work, because the motivation's all wrong. Anyways... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. <sighs> they literally pop up on the screen. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. The power of harem compels me, apparently. Yes, I'm so happy. Way too many whys. Samantha, Samantha wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, stop! Get off! You really did scare me for a moment. Okay, what would have happened if I didn't join the club? If you really just came here for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Not that I would care, but... Whoops. That almost came out. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the, welcome to the Literature Club. Are you guys going to get any... Anyone else? Ah, thanks, I guess. God damn it, Samantha. You tricked me again. Curse this foiled again. 
Ugh, I'm literally like Mojo right now. Curses. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment, because I need more homework in my life. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. I'm going to make a poem about cupcakes. Monica looks over to me once more. James, I'll look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Oh, lady. If only you knew. Samantha knows. You will too. Thick layers of sarcasm and wit combined with a just a smidgen of I don't give a fuck. Just mix that all together, put it in the oven for 350 degrees, 15 minutes. And you got James. Comments about what, what, comments about commas, like like really ninja link. Your comments about commas will be ignored. Y yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri. I call it Yuri. Yeah, Yuri and. Natalie, clean up their food. Hey James, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Samantha and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed um, stayed after stayed to the stayed here for stuff. Yeah, sure, why as well. Yay. She really wants really wants her, doesn't she? Now, now I feel pressured to, like, fulfill some type of promise I never made. Okay. And with that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Samantha. Natalie. Yuri. And, of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? The answer is yes, no. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls, so I'm already making plans. What's up, Jexler? What's going on, man? All right! I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. That's right, confidence is key, bro. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay. Wait, I actually have to write a poem? Oh, this beat, yo, hold up. Oh, shit! Yo! I like this, I like this, uh... This beat, but we're not gonna we're not gonna freestyle or anything. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member would like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. <sighs> really? I have to Okay, so how the hell do I just pick a word? Oh, these are... <sighs> Alright. I was not ready for actual homework, guys. Hey, 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 put your finger guns away. God damn it. Let's pick a word. Alright, I'm gonna pick a random word. Well, let's start with the first... Let's start, let's start with the first expression I felt. When I started playing this game, and I had to go to that freaking club, and it probably would be anger. And um, let's see, uh, peaceful, poof, entropy, fluffy. 
fluffy like uh Mmm Anxiety defeat alone wonderful friends tragedy fluffy Fluffy For some reason fluffy is like like the cupcakes all right whatever Doki Doki no Playground whatever embrace vivacious flea destiny puppy strawberry joy despise what the fuck? Um. I like puppies, I guess. Vivacious. Embrace. What the hell? Alright, this is a joy. Bunny, shiny, massacre. <laughs> Why? Lollipop. Lipstick. Papa. Papa. After image, uncanny, unrequited. Does any of these worlds? Does, how do I know any of these words? Any of these girls will like. Unrequited. Well, unrequited like this freaking girl's obvious unrequited love right now. I love it when she calls me Big Papa. Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Let's, uh, cool. You want me to pick Lollipop? You know, just because you said that, I'm not picking Lollipop. Good job, Yukidorf. I'm going to pick Bunny. Because I like, I like uh, rabbits. Okay. Um, reminds me of the, the, the thing I used to make. Ocean, Fireflies, mystery, mis Misery, Twirl, Cheeks, Question, Sadness, Cute, Air, Charm, Hair. I'm just gonna pick shit. Fuck it. Philosophy, sunset, sensation, journey, amazing existence, since a holiday, laugh, loud. Sunset, whatever. Lust, sparkle, family, incapable, jumpy, bubbles, spout, aura, pink, shame. Hold up. Uh. Shame. Out, pink aura bubbles, jumpy, family, and gable. Pink? No. This is stupid. Just pick one. Happiness. Graveyard, covet, vitality, universe, marshmallow, days, fear. Well, happiness, whatever. Breathe, melancholy, fun, infallible, horror, infinite, atone, encouragement, cry. Whatever, melancholy. Lucky, tears, marriage, sing, warm, dream, vertigo, rain cloud, forgive, suicide. Holy crap! Is it getting darker for some reason? Okay, um. Marriage, lol. Okay, we're at. <laughs> tears, sing, warm. Let's just try warm. Skirt, Varen's color, disarray, giggle, fantasy, lazy, fantasy, or parfait, shopping, headphones, comfort, determination, crimson, meager, unending, kawaii, pleasure. Ha, <laughs> kawaii. Wait, the girls jump when you choose? Hold on, 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 hold on. I did not know that. I didn't even realize that. I just realized they're not jumping as much. Can I go back? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. Well, let's see if we can fix it. <laughs> well, not really. It's not a big deal. Alright. Alright, what? What should I be picking for the... Alright, so if I if I hover Oh a second guys. I guess termination. Um 
Unrestrained, love, sunny, spinning, bed, climax, sticky, games, melody. You gotta actually click on one. So not so me hovering on the one doesn't tell me if one girl likes it or not. Sunny, spinning, bed, climax. Like a book, climax of a book, I don't know. Games, melody. No, hovering says nothing, okay. All right, we'll just have to just pick one. Um, let's try Climax again. Okay. Extreme, Frightening, Chocolate, Feather, Waterfall, Sugar, Grief, Scars, Bliss, Nightgown. Okay, so what okay what what word should I pick if I want the girl with the purple hair to bounce on the screen a little bit? What should I be picking? What what, what word you guys think I should pick? I I'll let you guys pick this one. Chocolate? Think chocolate will work? All right, let's try chocolate. You son of a bitch, it didn't work. You lied to me. All right, anyways. Precious, vanilla, fireworks, daydream, hope, broken, passion, unstable beauty, kitty. All right, let me get some tea real quick. Wouldn't Kitty be the Cinderace thing because the Kitty was on the cupcake? Unstable. Wow. Um, whisper, play, prayer, inferno, heaven, sweet, heaven sent, sweet blanket. Contamination? Is this girl with the purple hair like, is something wrong with her? I'm trying to get this impression because these words are coming out. Whisper? Whatever. Ambient, heart, romance, calm, special, ribbon, promise, hop, death, clumsy. Death? This is the hardest homework assignment I've ever had in my entire life. And how are these words going to make a poem? I'm not saying they have to rhyme or anything, but still. I'll say calm. Whatever. Skipping, nibble, memories, valentine, portrait, treasure, imagination. Let's do imagination. Together, misfortune, pain, intellectual, desire, excitement, explode, clouds, dark, empty. Intellectual? Dance, controllable, flying cabinet. I'm literally just picking what feels right at this point. Judgment, whirlwind, depression, agonizing. Wow, depression. Boop? Boop is a word? What would I want? I'm not picking boop. I'm afraid it's going to pick Samantha. Judgment, whirlwind. Pick depression, whatever. This is the worst poem. Fucking. Oh my god, this is the worst fucking poem ever. Hi again, James. Hello. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. I really thought about it. Nah, don't worry, I'm too much of a coward to do that. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. It was, but I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. 
Thanks for keeping your promise, James. Yeah, I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Samantha told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the, e the, end, of the end of it. You know what? I'm leaving, actually. I, I don't like her. Anyway, Natalie, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the, the club room. Oh, a, a word. So you like manga. You like Japanese comic books. Manga, manga, tomato, tomato, whatever. Natalie finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. See, I told you guys, manga is literature. Who said it wasn't? You're banned. Swiftly defeated, Natalie plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. James always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. I'd help clean your room? How dependable. Samantha, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Don't be. How come? You and James can be good friends, too. Um, Samantha. Hmm? As usual, Samantha seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh. Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Brought me something. But wait, Samantha. For me? Well, I like this girl even more now than I did before. Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What? What is it? Is it a... It's... Okay, it's... I'm not even a guess. It's not gonna be anything I want. Never mind. Samantha made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I... Do? Okay. Uh, I'm so... Eh, I'm sorry. Yuri wasn't... Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess it... I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah. I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. <laughs> Burn to the ground. <laughs> Burn to the ground. <laughs> all right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Of course, it's of course it's a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it, if you wanted. This, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Like, seriously, she really is accidentally being cute right now. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I will. I'll probably read it like the first chapter within a month. I'll look for I look forward to hearing what you think. Don't hold your breath. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Samantha and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natalie's rummaging through the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. 
I slumped down into the nearest into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. <sighs> but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's Samantha's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to be... Wait, we're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is, the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not... But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place, even if it's a literature event. You know, duh, there's more important shit going on. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Samantha is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her de deliberating like this. Huh. That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Wait. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Yes, yes. I was thinking it 15 seconds ago. <laughs> Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. And it's not Natsuki, it's Natalie. I am bad at four kids' dubs. Ah, you're right. Natalie makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it, was it? Hell yeah, it was. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Tummy? Who says tummy anymore? Besides people under the age of seven. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Now? More cupcakes now? Anyway. <laughs> we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Samantha is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Samantha can put her mind to things and make them, and make them come to life. The British say tummy? Okay, I'm thinking in American terms because I'm American. My bad. I suppose that's why I end up letting her on my... Okay. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. They probably look like a tinted blue. I'm assuming because her eyes look like blue glass. Why is she so close? What the, what the hell? I open my eyes to find Samantha's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Okay, <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing at how they just like animated that one sprite. Okay. I'm sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Well, it sure as hell felt like it. Wait. Does our school have a napping club? Actually, hold up. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop watching anime, like... Priorities, girl. I have my priorities straight. School, then anime, then club. 
then anime again, then sleep. Somewhere in there fits dinner. I don't know. Maybe dinner and anime together. No, it doesn't matter. Hold up. You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Samantha. <laughs> uh, okay. It's what it's what I do best. Yep, that's what you Yeah, that's a problem. What about you? You look out for you look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? N not every day. That is not very convincing at all. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... Honest. Honest answer. It's a secret. Hell no, it's not. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. No, I cannot do that. That would be against... No, I'm not doing it. I can't even do that. Look, Samantha, it's written all over you. Eh? Samantha glances around at herself. How's it written all over me? Are you actually this dense? Are you actually made of stupid? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking all... Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Huh? I run my fingertips around the side of Sorry's hair, trying to straighten it out. It's just like my little sister. Man, you really need to brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm not falling for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste. There's a toothpaste stain on your collar. Really? I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. It, hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, come on. It's like I'm taking care of a child. Am I her, am I her mother? Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. I'm sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Trust me on this. Jeez, she really is hopeless. This is so funny. It's not. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. It's not weird. Eh? Don't say that. Now you'll make me feel weird about doing it, you freaking idiot. It's okay, though. Happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. The button might come off? Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This is happening. This is a Doki Doki alert. Does this thing even fit you properly? Don't laugh. It did when I bought it. What do you mean, you're getting bigger? Ugh. If you ever buttoned it, you wouldn't have noticed it sooner than it... Wouldn't you have noticed sooner than it... Ugh! Just button it! Why didn't you notice it? It wouldn't fit you anymore. Button it the first time. This problem wouldn't have to be happening. Let's say it like that. What are you smiling about now? It means my boobs got bigger again. Oh my god. Don't say that to me out loud. You, what's wrong with you? Oh, anyway. You look much better now, so... Ah. Wait a minute. Why does it feel strange to see Samantha's blazer buttoned up like that?
But it's so stuffy. Stuffy? Oh, Lord, am I... It's not worth it at all. Samantha has... Samantha tastely unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. Samantha puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? Wait. Hold up. Stop. Pause. I thought the point was for you to get a boyfriend. So why... Why would you do that? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because... If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. Well, I guess that's true. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. Nani. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned, so you won't get a boyfriend. So you won't get a boyfriend. Because if you had one, I wouldn't be able to fix up your hair and button your blouse that's apparently too tight on you because your boobs are getting bigger. And they're not that big, by the way. Not your maid or your mother. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Oh, well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on getting to bed earlier. What? Fine. Fine. It's a deal. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Huh. That's a good point. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Samantha. Aw, oh, I was joking that time. <sighs> Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone, thank you for breaking up the conversation. Thank God. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we all share the poems we wrote now? Yay! James, I can't wait to read yours. I don't know why. You'll be disappointed. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. That's what I wrote. There we go. Next. Who's next? I'm done. I, fa I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Samantha still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah, I did. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Clearly, you saw the words I picked? Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Good for you. Samantha and Monica, enthusiastic pull- <laughs> They whip it out, they whip out the poems. Samantha is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natalie and Yuri are... Uh, Natalie and Yuri re reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. So who should I show my poem to first? Okay, so... I don't know. I feel like this is a way more important decision than I'm actually thinking it is. Well, I kind of... I know I want Yuri to read it at some point. I'll probably pick... I'll pick... I'll pick Yuri, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll pick uh, Yuri... 
and then yeah, well, well, Yuri, whatever. Yuri seems the most. She gave me the book too, so she probably could tell me how to fucking fix it. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. God! Yeah. First of all, I feel like my first poem would be better than that. It didn't really give me words, just... Shit. Anyway, I didn't even- I thought- See, see when I got the words, guys, I thought that I would be able to, like, put the words together in a certain way so that it would at least make a little bit more coherence. More- more sense, you know? No. No. Uh, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I can't help it but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's it's fine. I, I really didn't even notice. Um, so, what were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick them up. To pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. Huh, I'm already confused. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stam- wait a minute. She was saying my poem didn't really fit a certain specific subject clearly enough? Well, that would make sense. I totally didn't know what the hell I was doing. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding and them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with patience Pra oh, practice, I'm sorry, with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natalie can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's, it's fine. I mean, actually, you got some dirt on her? Because that's what it sounds like. Yo, let's talk. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natalie. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts, my thought process behind it. Okay, so she seems like the smartest one when it comes to, like, making these things, so... All right, Sensei, I will read your poem without hesitation. Yuri smiles dreamily, dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which 
itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Holy crap. Alright, let's... I'm gonna try to read this. It's a little difficult. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the tests of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Great. That was so hard to read because of... Just cursive. So Ghost Under the Light, that's what it's called. That sound is kind of... The tendrils of my hair. Why does she call them tendrils? Like they're like... Their own thing. Their own being. Let me read this again. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. The amber glow is probably the sun or something like that. Bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining... Oh, so the amber glow is the street light. To have withstood the test of time. What happened to the other ones? The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. Blue-green. Sickening? Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna pretend I can analyze this. I, I'm sorry for such... Terrible handwriting, are you kidding me? I thought a computer did this. A computer probably did do this. What? I wasn't thinking that at all, are you serious? But it took you a long time to read, it took me a long time to understand, not read. Uh, uh, actually thinking about it now, I, it did take me a while to read, didn't it? Oh god. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. Was it too short? I usually write longer poems. No, not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. What? Something easy to digest, I suppose? Are you into ghost, Yuri? Mm-hmm. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, James. I didn't think it was either. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poems often express their own thoughts. That poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbi symbolically compared to a ghost. I don't like where this is going. Lingering in her past remaining place of comfort, unable to let it go, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Really, it's nothing? I don't think so. You're gonna be like a big writer someday, probably. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Who should I show my poem to next? All right, Samantha. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Jane. What? Hold up, she just told, the other girl just told me it needed work and you're like, how is it so good? Wow, biased, you're biased. Yeah, I love it. 
I had no idea you were such a good writer. Samantha. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. God damn it, Samantha! Ugh! It's blissfully stupid. God, Jesus Christ. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe, maybe even Natalie's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a James poem. I'm scared. And that makes it feel extra special. She's doing too much, guys. Someone, someone contact Samantha and tell her she's doing too much. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. You can feel my feelings in it? Samantha hugs the sheet behind it. Are you serious? Now you're giving it a hug? <laughs> You're so weird. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you've really become part of the club now. I guess, not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's like I said before, James. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Samantha. I'm not sure if Samantha sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Huh. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna hold you to that, then. Yay. You can obviously tell my enthusiasm like shot through the roof here. Now you'll read my poem, too, right? Oh, God. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Yeah, we'll see about that. It's probably way better than mine anyways. Let's check this shit out. Okay. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from... From my, from the sleepy from my eyes? Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you... What's it say? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret. But I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> this poem is so simple. Like, she's a simple-minded girl. She's literally a simpleton. Like a blissfully happy simpleton. All right, I'm out of here. Can we keep, I'm out of here. Like, literally, I'm like signed a hedgehog in this piece. S Samantha. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! J just a little bit. God fucking damn it, Samantha! 
You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Breakfast. God, Jesus. She was literally waiting for breakfast when she made this. She literally woke up and said, Oh, I need to write a poem. Don't be mean. Too late. I still tried my best in the limited time you gave yourself. Yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Oh, yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Of course you did. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> I don't want to put any effort into her, her giggly, bubbly laugh. laughs. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. All right, hold on a second. All right, hope you guys are having a, uh, a ton of fun watching this. This is um, very interesting and cute and bubbly and... <laughs> Somewhat annoying as well, but it's a good mix. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Who's next? Alright, let's, let's get this bitch out of the way. Natalie. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. Could you say that somewhat a little differently than that? Jesus, that is blunt as hell. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said I, it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want me... Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. That was quick. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Oh my god, this music! I feel like I got dumber just, just by listening to this music. Eagles can fly. Well, that is, that is the truth. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. What? What is this? Ah. Uh. She didn't even try. Speaking of trying, she didn't even try. Even the stupid breakfast girl could tried. She just. This music's perfect. Moving on. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. God damn it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. No, I'm not. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message less any, any less valid. True. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Well, I don't know about that hitting part. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. Huh. Actually, the hidden meaning in here is surprisingly well thought out. So I decided to write about it. Now I feel bad for 
assuming she's an idiot. Yeah, I understand. But on but the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Huh. I don't like learning things right now. I've stopped going to school a long time ago. Stop teaching me things. Like I set up like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. Huh. It helps bring out the feeling in that last line. Oh, so it was intentional stupidity. Okay, that makes me change all my opinions about you from the jump. I guess more went to that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Okay, now you're just full of it. Relax. I'm glad you learned something. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. Well, you're so good at this. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decide to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is. But if Natalie is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. What's the point? Not gonna get anything out of it. Especially cupcakes. By, by the way, I should probably stay on her good side so that doesn't become an impossibility. And the last one, Monica. Hi, James. Hi. Having a good time so far? I'm having a very unique experience. Yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you, ever, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we could do better, I'll get my... I'll get my pen and paper out later. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright. I'll keep it in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'll be much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway... Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I'll have to. Why are you laughing at me? Don't worry, James. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll learn to all get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like this one. Huh? It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Wait, Samantha would like this? Wait, hold on a second. Her response was a little over was a little exaggerated, so. I guess I can see it. Is that so? You and Samantha are, are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Huh. Well. We may be good friends, but Samantha and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. Like what? The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Don't get it twisted. I'm about bitches and hoes and... Going to the club and... Shit, I can't even convince myself. Alright, yeah, you got it. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when I read your poem. Hmm... You sure you're not reading it into reading into it too much? I could be. Oh gosh. I sound like I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Samantha's writing kinda has a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. 
It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the style, the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have it's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Stop laughing. Jeez. Uh, anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Y'all all say that. Every single one's poem's better than mine. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Hmm, I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in Wall. Hmm. All right. It couldn't have been me. See? The direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image, is just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Okay, this sounds really dark. It sounds really sad, like she saw something, like, really dreadful. Alright, um... Let's just go. So, what do you think? This is really... I think this is the best one. Hmm, it's very... Freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh... Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say... That I had some kind of epiphany re recently? It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that. Because it's... kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway... Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a certain point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just, just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. That's a good point. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just keep moving your hand and go for flow. That's my advice for today. She is Miss Tutorial Girl, isn't she? Like, this game's Oma Chow. Okay. Thanks for listening. Whew. That was actually more... That took more energy than I thought it would. For real talk. I guess that's everyone. I, I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me from my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Yeah, real talk. This is a literature club after all. 
I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Samantha and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Na my eyes land on Yuri and Natalie. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natalie's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Ha! <laughs> she doesn't know what the hell's going on. Meanwhile, wait. Yuri smiles sadly. Okay, I'm sensing some tension. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natalie dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Fancy? That's it? That's all you got? Ah. Uh, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? I think you did. It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Yeah? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out like nice at all. You're... Mm -hmm. Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Mm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. I just hate this character. Samantha liked it, and James did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my, my, my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Wow. So thanks, but no thanks. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and James liked my poem, too, you know. God damn it. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natalie suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Are you... God, don't. Just don't put me in the middle of this. Oh, no. Am I going to have to... Add, am I going to have to, like... No. No, that's not going to happen. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to speak that into, into existence. Eh? That's not what I... Um... You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that James appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh, no! Uh, this is happening. Oh, this is totally happening. Guys, hey guys, how are you guys doing? This is happening. You wanna see it happen? Here it goes, it's happening. Right now, it's happening. Huh. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Fuck! I gotta go to the bathroom. Go into the bathroom. Sorry guys, gotta go, bye! Are you done yet? God damn it! Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure that you... Are you that full of yourself? No. No, I don't. No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh... It's about to be what? A cat fight? <laughs> oh lord, have mercy. Um, someone save everybody from not killing each other? Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew to a size bigger as soon as James started showing up. Are you fudging? You can't see it, but I'm leaning over against my couch.
I knew there was a connection between me and Yuri, but... Her boobs grew because I showed up. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Alright, let's keep it going. N Natalie! Um, Natalie, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Well, they both said that? I don't like fighting, guys. S suddenly, both girls turned to... Oh, Ah! No, this is happening. This is happening. This is happening. This is happening. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. James, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Samantha. Someone, someone, someone get Samantha in here. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, James. W wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, James? Yeah, I, I understand both. Can I understand both? Um, well... Uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. I'm the new one here, remember? But whoever I agree with, they're probably going to think more highly of me. And whoever I disagree with is going to really help me out. <laughs> so of course it's going to be. You ate her cupcakes, that's how it got into this. <laughs> I really did. If I didn't eat those cupcakes, I wouldn't even be here. I can't pick. This is stupid. I, I see both their points really well. God damn it. Samantha, help! N Natalie? Natalie glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless, I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Samantha, help! Eh? Y yeah! Everyone's fighting... Everyone's fighting is making Samantha uncomfortable. So, yeah, stop. Stop doing it. Yes. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Yeah, turn turn this at, turn this on them. Make them feel bad for making you feel bad. Uh. James. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Then why did you do that by having me in the conversation? Yeah, unless, Yuri, unless Samantha wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. Really? She would never. It's your imagery that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Whoa. Stop. We're done. Time out. We're taking a time out. All right, time the F out. <sighs> All right, so I got a glimpse into the relationship issue between these two characters. I'm very uncomfortable. So Natalie, Yuri, you tell them what's up. You tell them what's up, Samantha. You do it. You guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. Is she crying? God damn it, she's crying. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their, of their differences. Why is she so upset over there? Natalie's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings in just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented, 
So, so talented. Besides the chopped liver over here, yeah. So why are we fighting? Be because, well, also, Natalie's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. <laughs> Big and beautiful. Oh, Lord, have fucking mercy. Samantha, you went. Never mind. Samantha stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. And Natalie sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. Well, they are big and beautiful, that's all. I mean, hey. So this is why... Okay, this makes sense. So that's why Samantha is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing for, for me. Wait a minute. She didn't bring it up herself either. I had to drag her into it. That's actually kind of bad saying it out, well, saying it out loud like that. Ugh, <laughs> oh, jeez. Nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't to say able to, I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Samantha is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? Yeah, you could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. Weirdly suspicious. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see herself get hurt. Wait, what? Why would she get hurt? That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a gentle person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Oh. So the main character seems to be very, uh, a little bit more interested in talking to Monica. Alone. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was lots of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. James, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Can we mix it up? And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So all your poems will turn out even better. I fucking doubt it. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Although I shouldn't be doing that, I should just be making what I want and fuck what they think. Like, that's... Okay. I nod to myself with newfound determination. James. Ready to walk home? Yeah, sure, let's go. Okay. Let's go home. Samantha beams at me. It truly has been a while since Samantha and I have spent this much time together. Has it? I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. This is the Doki Doki Literature Club, you're all right. I should be trying to target these girls, I suppose. And I don't like the way I said that just now. Just FYI. Samantha? About what happened earlier? Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natalie? This 
that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. Are you sure? You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. Where'd you get that from? I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, James... It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. Up in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... Ugh. Nah. Stop laughing. Every day is going to be so much fun. Well, I hope you're right about that. <sighs> Should've went to the manga club. This is too much stress over reading shit. It looks like... Looks like Samantha still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Wait, I guess we'll just see what the future holds, Samantha. I pat Samantha on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to see. But it's easy to use Samantha as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. And we shall save at this point. How long have we been streaming? We've been streaming for two hours and 28 minutes, pretty much. Boom bop, boom boom bop, boom bop. Okay, guys. Doki Doki Literature Club! Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, so far, so good. Very funny. All right, so let me just check the chat and just get you guys. Get some questions from you guys. How are you guys doing? You guys enjoying yourself so far? Any questions? Let me check something here. Yukidorf, keep going. Gokakami, do it for the love. The Doki Doki. Look, man, um... I might not be able to do it. Continue. Might not be able to. Uh, I have to get myself ready for later on tonight. Got some stuff I have to do. <sighs> none. Neozoa says none. What do you mean none? What does none mean? Anyways, um. So, um, if you haven't yet, make sure you, um, follow the channel. Uh, follow me on, uh, Twitter. It's the next time I stream games like this. But appreciate it. Support the stream, dudes. Need your help to keep this thing going. Uh, and if you, um, if you missed me working on, um, the Cuphead comic yesterday, I was, I made a, um, made a fan comic. Got some audio from me um, using myself and another professional voice actor. We made a Cuphead comic and I put it on my YouTube channel. You can check that out. My thoughts on the game? Uh, it's it's pretty fun. It's pretty... It's, it's... It's nothing I haven't expected yet. I mean, I've expected most of what's happening. Except for the relationship between the two... Uh, between Yuri and Natalie... I'm still calling her that. You kind of had a feeling those two would clash, but I wasn't sure how bad it was. And the fact, you know, you can kind of see there was some stuff going on, some pent-up stuff. So I'm certain the story along later on the line is going to uh, feature them more in terms of settling that internal con that conflict, one way or the other, you know? Um, and thanks for the stream. Yeah, no problem. Glad you came through. Um... Clearly, the, I mean, the show, I call it the show, but the game, it 
I don't know if I made it that way, but it does kind of want to push the childhood friend romance uh, situation there. And um, I can, yeah, I thought she was annoying at first. She's all right. She's cool. Everyone is pretty cool. Like, you know, I'm not really, I don't really hate anybody. I just like making fun of the little quirks in their character. Um, it always annoys me though when I see certain obvious tropes happen. Like it just throws it in my jaw, in my face. Um, so I try to make fun of it, but. Um, this reminds me, this actually reminds me of a different game that someone else was making, to be honest with you. Uh, let me see if I can find it. This is a, there was a demo for a game that came out that, that's, that's being produced. Um, I, I can't remember the name right now. But I did play that game on stream. And it had like a time... Time distortion element to it. Like where like the decisions I would make would affect um, the past. Like it, I would replay the game. But let's say for example I would um, go a certain route in the game, right? Now this is a demo by the way, so this is pretty crazy that this isn't a demo. I will, I will go through the game and play this route, and then once the route was over, I would play again to try to go differently, but then dialogue would change even though I started the game completely over, and things were different, and I'm like, what the hell just happened? And like, people were remembering me, or, or they recognized me, even though technically I haven't seen them before, because I literally started all over a new game. So it was like I was altering time or something like that with my decisions, and it was weird. So uh, I'm looking forward to, finish, to playing that game, to see how that turns out when it, when it ends. And it had good designs too. Um, what was it called? I'm so upset right now. Michaela Laws is produced by Michaela Laws. I can't remember the game, the name of the game. Hold on, let me see if I have it on my on my. I should have this game somewhere. Hold up. Hold up, guys. This is going to bother me until I find this game. Needs more Doki? <laughs> it needs more Doki. Well, I mean, it's called Doki Doki Literature Club, so I, I suppose you're right about that. <clears throat> okay, it's called All For You. There's a demo, it's a free demo for a game called All For You. Um, and you'll see what I mean, it's not bad, it's pretty good. Because um, that part freaked me out when, when things started changing. Uh, around me but um hmm yeah so I don't I might um play again later on tonight it'll be super late if I do but if I don't uh, it'll be Sunday night after um after smash attack Which I think is yeah, it's definitely tomorrow. All right, guys, we're gonna call this one right where it is. So thank you all for coming. Um, like I said, follow me, exclamation point Discord, so you can get into Discord. So you can see announcements for voiceover uh, announcements, art announcements, stream announcements, Twitter, YouTube, all that jazz. You guys know the deal. Um. Without further ado, we're, we're, we're out. I gotta get ready to go. So, thank you guys for coming. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Seriously, get leave. Bye. I'll see you later. Goodbye. See ya. Why haven't y'all left yet?
Seriously, I, I, I can't leave until you guys leave. I mean, this song will will repeat until you leave. Come on, go, come on. I ate all the cupcakes. There's none left for you guys. Go. All right, I'm just playing. All right, I'm, I'm actually leaving now. Bye-bye. Doki Doki Leisure Club.